great to catch up with the Don's left back, Nesta Guinness Walker. Thoughts on our second half comeback at Bristol Rovers and your own performance? You did very well. Yeah, I think as a team we've done well because obviously first half we weren't really at it and obviously the penalty decision I think we were a little bit unlucky to come deal, come in at 1-0 down. So second half Gaffer just said stick to our policies and kind of step it up a little bit and I thought we did that second half and, and deserved the result. What does it say about us being such a young group and also having Jack Redoni on full debut as well, the character within the team? Yeah, we've just got great drive and character with our, within us, without that age anyway, we will all capable of of putting in performances and Rudy's a great example of that because he can step in and, and perform well. Oxford United next up. Now just over two months ago we went to their training ground and in front of their management and of course some of that had a strong team out as well. You were a part of a Wimbledon team that won 4-1 there. Can that have any relevance on tomorrow perhaps? Yeah I think that was against, that was in the 23s game so they obviously had a a week inside with players coming back from injury and, and a few 18 stepping up. But it was good for us to feel the last to see their style of playing, their philosophies and, and kind of get a feel of, of what we'll be facing on Sunday. It's going to be a test, isn't it? But we go into it with good confidence after that Bristol Rovers game. Yeah, we've got a bit of momentum now, so hopefully we can take that through this Christmas period, get a string of results and, and step into the new year looking forward and looking up the table. Just for yourself as well, it's, it's really interesting at the moment, that battle for the left-back spot with yourself and Paul Lossi. Yeah. How do you both kind of differ, but also is it a case of having one for, for separate kind of occasions, really? I think me and Paul, we both we both have our own little battle. We both have a bit of banner about pushing for the shirt, and I think that's good to have a bit of competition. It pushes both of us when I'm playing. I know he's always chasing me, and I've, I've got to be performing at my best if I want to be starting on the weekend, and vice versa. When he's there, I, he knows I'm going to be right behind him, and and pushing for that starting shirt. So it's, it's good to, to have that competition in the team and, and like I said, keep us both at a, a level of consistency to push on. And also as well, you get on very well with Nathan Trump. Does that help kind of sort of develop that relationship for you, working as a pair on, on the on-field as well? Yeah, definitely. I think throughout the team we have great relationship and, and that showed on Saturday, like I said, the togetherness to, to stick together and push on. But yeah, there's definitely a few strong relationships that keep us together and, and help us grind out results like on the weekend. It's been an incredible year for yourself as well, having come to join Wimbledon in the summer. When you look back to where you were a year ago, how do you reflect on things? Yeah, sometimes I've got to pinch myself a little bit and, and see how far I've come in, in a calendar year. But I said I, I've put in the hours and, and I feel like I deserve it. So from here, I've just got to look forward and, and push on and, and, like I said, keep, keep making that progress. Being a professional footballer as well, now this time of the year, Christmas, you have to make sacrifices. Are you enjoying it with the games coming thick and fast? Yeah, definitely. It keeps you on your toes when we're coming in. Like I said, after after the Bristol game, we came straight in and we working, looking on forward to the next game. And I feel like it just keeps us ticking over. And like I said, a, a lot of games coming up thick and fast. And, and that's what we want as footballers. You want to keep playing football. You want to be training, looking for points and, and looking for good results. We were just talking as well about your dad. Um, both your dad and your mum were there the day you came and signed for Wimbledon. Yeah. And he follows you around the country to, to all the games. How much does that really help you with support? Off yeah, for me, it's it's great to have my own little fan base there. Everybody follows me around to, to all the games. So it's good to know that I've got someone in the stand supporting me, as, along with the other Dons fans. Yeah, it's good to just have him supporting and, and following us around. So. And you spoke about the Dons fans as well there. I mean, you really appreciate and you get to know them as well now, the fan base. Yeah, definitely like sticking together with one big family so you could see the emotion and, and the passion that came out, for example, against that Bristol, when we got that result on the weekend. So it was great for us to all come together and just celebrate that. Nice, good catching up with you. Cheers, thank you.